Greetings, everyone. Now that we've personalized our homepage and added some content about our wonderful handmade products to our website, it could be interesting to add some personality. In fact, now that we're ready to welcome our first visitors, having my own domain name should be a top priority because it'll show how serious I am about my activities. More than that, I should also think about adding some new languages. I want to expand my market and start selling internationally. This requires that my visitors have their language loaded on my website, and having different languages should also attract new visitors. Fortunately, Odoo helps load translations easily, so I'll be able to continue with my website development without worrying about that. So let's see this right now. Okay, so here I am on the homepage of my website, and the first piece of information I want to change is up here on the tab. Okay, so right now I see the page and then my website, but of course I want that to say my company's name instead, Stealthy Wood. So I went ahead and already changed the logo that you see on the tab. I'm going to show you how to do both of those things right now. So we'll go back to the dashboard of the website application, and then we'll go to Configuration, Settings. And right down here, under Website Title, we have the options to uh, change what the tab looks like and customize it for our company. So, of course, I don't want the name to be my website. I want it to be Stealthy Wood. Okay. And I also uploaded the logo of my company uh, right here for the favicon. So, you, it's super fast and super easy. So, you can go ahead and upload yours to personalize your own website. And then click on Save before you go forward. Okay. And then from the settings page, we can also load a language so that we can um, have our website shown in a different language to um, attract a larger audience. But I'm going to show you how we can do this from the front end. So let's go back to the website dashboard, go into the website. All right, and then we'll scroll down to the very bottom of the page. And here we see this add a language button. Okay, so right now if I click on English, I only have this language loaded, so let's go ahead and load a second language. So I also want to work with French-speaking people, so I'm going to load French. Okay, so I'll click on the language field here, scroll down to French, I'm going to choose French-Belgium. Okay, and then we see that this website, or this translation, goes for our website Stealthy Wood. And then we'll load. It will take just a moment. And then we'll redirect us back to our home page. And as you can see, this has already translated if we look at the top here. If we scroll down to the bottom once again, we can change our language back to English. Um, and we also have the ability to translate uh, specific terms. And we'll talk about that in a later video, so don't worry about that for just, for just a moment. Okay, so let's go back to English. All right, and then... We want to change something else here. So we changed the information on our tab, which we see right away. But I also want to change my domain name. I don't want it to be training-stealthywood.odoo.com. I want it to be something a little bit cleaner, more professional, just stealthywood.com. So to do that, I'm simply going to go back to my main dashboard. All right, and once we're here, we'll click on our name. And then go to my odoo.com account will be redirected to the odoo.com portal. I'm already logged in, but if you need to log in, you'll do that right here as well. And then we'll click on our name once again, go to my databases. Click on your database, scroll down, go to domains. Okay, so the next step I won't be able to show you because I need to enter in some um, personal company information. Um, but we do have a documentation that gives you a step-by-step -step guide of how to set up your own domain name. Um, so that's right here. You can find that information in the portal simply by clicking on this button. You can also easily um, Google search this as well. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.